Hi guys! Okay, so as you saw from the initial thumbnail, we are doing a flamenco dancer. Um, I paired up with or Aura Pores with Barb and um, we're doing a collab and um, I decided to do a sil well we both decided to do a silhouette and um, I haven't done one on my channel yet so and I had seen that she had done one before so I was like okay so this will be good and um, I decided to do a flamenco dancer so you know add some spice to my life <laughs> anyways um, so um, I just they're so elegant in when they dance um, anyways um, so and I, I, I love the silhouettes and a lot of people do them in the, you know, pouring because, you know, you can make such beautiful dresses and all that stuff. It's, it's really fun. So anyways, um, you guys get to see my process now. Um, I had thought I had filmed me putting down everything, but I missed a couple steps. You guys will see. Um, but anyway, so this is kind of a long video because it does take a couple different steps. So just be prepared. And I did use, uh, now I picked Barb's colors and she picked mine. Um, so, um, she picked pinks and golds for me, and, um, so what I did was, I went and picked out all of my pinks, and and the golds that I had. And um, that includes mica powder and all of the pinks. So like when I when I first started pouring, I had this like pouring kit that I had found on Amazon, which is the Nick Pro paints that you're seeing um, pop up. Um, I have them in a drawer that I barely use but I'm like oh I have some pinks in there let me pull those out so um anyways that's that's where Nick Pro comes from um and then I use my like I said my mica powders you see there's some Nick Pro um and uh yeah man I was I was just pulling out all the pinks that I could find <laughs> Um, and because uh, I, I wanted a lot of texture, and I, I will I will put all of these pinks and golds, you know, everything down in the description box. Um, but I wanted a lot of texture. I wanted a lot of flow because you know when you think of um, a flamenco dancer think of lots of fabric lots of texture and um, with mica powder when you put it you know in a painting you get texture so it actually came out so much texture it's amazing um, it ends up really looking like a dress it's I mean, I'm overjoyed. Just wait until you see it. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I put all my pinks in here. <laughs> I didn't realize I had so many pinks until I was editing this video. And then I was like, wow, 
that's a lot of pink. Um, <laughs> so, uh, especially for someone who doesn't do pink, I have a lot of pink. Um, anyways, so, but um, I, I had a lot of fun doing this one. It, it did, um, it was a process because you have to, you do this part and then you have to let it dry before you can do the next steps, you know, so it, it definitely is not a one and done like a normal painting. Um, and of course, you know I have to put Arteza in there, the uh, iridescent, because, you know, I love that paint as well, so. We, we had to get everything in here because we have to make it look good. And then this is a playful pink because it might look white, but it's still labeled pink. So I put it in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pulling out all the stops. Um, anyways. Um, so now... I was already getting like some of those tendrils or whatever, but of course I, uh, when you blow it out, you kind of lose that. But um, now I did not use my blow dryer because I wanted to make sure it didn't like go too crazy because I knew I had a lot of paint on the canvas. Um, and I wanted to make sure I could fine tune it because I needed to do the bodice. You know, um, I, I was really nervous. Well, I, I get nervous when I do painting sometimes, a lot of times, because I never know how they're going to turn out. <laughs> but this one, you know, it, it's like I need it to go a certain way. And I, yeah, so I needed to make sure I had that bodice up top. Um, and I didn't want it to go wonky. So that's why I didn't do the blow dryer. Um, so and then now I, I did speed up this part. So I, I, in real life, it was going a lot slower. You know, I was I was a lot more careful. Um, but uh, yeah, it, the the texture in the you know in the colors and stuff I, I really liked but I did not like how that top part blew out so I went ahead and added some more paint around the edges and then here we just go in and start trying to edit with my finger fun times. Now it did um, cause some pink issues right there in where I tried to nip it in the waist. So I'm still trying to decide on whether I should paint the pink area that has shown up. It's kind of under the white now that it's dry, um, kind of pinkish trying to decide if I should paint it white or not, but uh, I don't know. Right now it's kind of, yeah, I haven't decided because I don't want to mess up the rest of the white. <laughs> so I've, I've kind of left it for now. We'll see. I'm, I'm undecided. So you guys can um, leave your comments and let me know what I should do. Those of you who have done uh, silhouettes before. Because again, you know, you get to the point where do I keep messing with it? Do I not mess with it? And you guys can see at the end of the video the, uh, the pink where it's nipped in at the side on the uh, left side. It just shown through. I think it's kind of the result of the mica powders. But um, sometimes you mess with it a little too much and then it's like you just screw it up. And this turned out, ugh, I, 
I'm telling you, like, I couldn't have asked for any better. Everything lined up the way I wanted it to. Uh, one of my friends asked me, so this is practice, right? Um, no, 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 this, this is too good to be practiced. <laughs> this is, this turned out like I, I could not, I don't think I could recreate this one if I wanted to. <laughs> this is, uh, one of Pippi's happy accidents. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so pretty much what I'm trying to do is just kind of nip the um uh the bodice in a little bit and then you know i ended up um having some splatters i, I didn't want anything on the white paint so we're just tucking it in and then i looked at the bottom and i was like you know i i want a little bit more color down there I want a little more a little bit more texture so i went ahead and added some more paint oh yeah that's a big blob down there yeah I was like uh oh <laughs> it came out a little faster than I expected but hey you know it is what it is so um, but um, yeah I, I wanted a little bit more um, texture and um, I'm, I'm glad I did because it, it made a world of difference so, yeah, we're just going to paint that, and um, I'll be back with some more comments. down here, pardon my wonderful head getting in the way, um, I wanted to do some natural blowing out, not the um, air mattress blower, um, because I wanted to get kind of the movement of the cloth. That's kind of what I was going for, um, you know, of it billowing up as she's dancing. And um, I felt like I wouldn't be able to get that with the blower because I'm starting to learn the blower gives certain looks, the straw gives certain looks, and your mouth gives certain looks. Um, so anyways, okay, so this next step, um, I kind of messed up. Now, when you are painting the um, profile don't use liquidy paint use thick paint I use liquidy paint and it ended up kind of bleeding through a little bit um, through my stencil which is I use the cry cut um, and uh, so her shoe on the one foot is a little fuzzy and I did not start on the white, so I can't fix it, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Um, but I'm glad that I had dipped down like that because that helps, um, as you will see, it helps with the style dress. Um, I'm telling you, man, I, I was so lucky with this one. Oh. <laughs> just I'm glad I didn't go straight across it just oh my goodness and then her bodice just turned out amazing it has some gold up top just wait until you see it I thought that I had filmed me putting this on the, the um, stencil um, this is actually two different flamenco dancers put together because the the top flamenco dancer, her stencil dress came all the way down to the floor and just barely showed her shoes. 
and but with the style of my painting I wanted to kind of do like an A-line dress you know and kind of show off her legs a little bit because um, you know they lift their legs up and you know do all these flamboyant steps and you know stuff like that so I wanted to kind of get that feeling from the painting and um, so I went through Google and I found um, free images for these stencils and um, I found one with legs and then I found you know her the upper body that seemed to match kind of the, the style and seemed like they would be put together okay because you don't want legs going one way and arms going the other way you know um, I wanted it to seem like she could be doing that pose and um, and then what I had to do I had to make sure that the size of the legs yeah there we go let's hope this works because you can't see um, but I had to make sure the size of the legs matched the upper body as well and um, so anyways and thankfully it did work so now what we're going to do is we are going to embellish we're going to add jewelry and uh, because you know we, we can't just leave it with a black silhouette so we're going to do the q-tip and sorry about my hair um, <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to edit out when we did her left foot because it was totally I had like just one of my dreads was totally in the camera like hello I'm here <laughs> so I apologize but what's cool is q-tips not q-tips toothpicks just totally help add those little um dots it was great I was able to do what I needed to do and even if my hand was shaking I could still do what I needed to do and what I did do as well now you saw that I had used the stencil to create this you know to paint her on so the um, the part that went inside the stencil I practiced on that to get my design down before I actually put it on her the painting for the jewelry and stuff um, so that way I knew what it would look like because <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up um, so you know that that worked out really well so I was able to be like okay this is what I want to do this is how I want to do it and then on the, the stencil part of it and then I went and transferred it over to the painting so don't throw your stencils away until you're all done but I, I really really enjoyed doing this it was it was a lot of fun All right, and here is the dry reveal. Just look at all that texture that we have going on. The mica powders really created some awesome texture. And we have the jewelry and the hair done. And I went ahead and added in some um, earrings. And look at that bodice, it's absolutely amazing hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to go check out Aura Pores with Barb and see what she came up with for her collaboration. I will link her um, channel and um, yeah go check her out and 
she has some awesome stuff over on her channel and look me up on Instagram and um, I hope you guys had a good day today and enjoyed bye